Welcome to Card Players Daily Deal. Today is Tuesday, May 8th, 2007. I'm Lizzie Harrison, and standing in for Rich Belsky is Sean Green. Sean, good morning. Morning. Deputy United States Trade Representative John K. Veranyu recently stated that the United States will not comply with the ruling made by the World Trade Organization in regards to online poker. The World Trade Organization ruled that the United States is wrong for not allowing its citizens to place wagers online with companies operating in foreign countries. However, Veranyu claims that the United States is not violating WTO rules by preventing online gambling. The United States says that online gambling does not fall under the heading of recreation in an agreement that was signed years ago. The implications of that agreement are at the base of the WTO's ruling. Veranyu said that the United States government plans to modify that agreement in order to clarify their stance on online poker. He called the discrepancy an oversight and said that since interstate online gambling is illegal in the United States, it should be obvious that international online gambling is also in violation of the law. Today is day two of the culminating event of the 2007 Rendezvous à Paris, the Grand Prix de Paris. The chip leader in the $13,000 buy-in championship event is Ram Baswani with 76,795 chips. Second in chips is David Redlin, and in third place is Jan Bubli. Other big names left in the international field include Sorel Mitzi, Mads Anderson, Freddie Deeb, and David Kolkla. A total of 84 players remain from days 1A and 1B. The turnout was not as large as was expected to be before the World Poker Tour announced that they would not be filming it. Though the Grand Prix de Paris at the Aviation Club in France is still officially a World Poker Tour event, cameras will not be rolling on the tournament this year. That means that there will be no show produced for viewing audiences from this event. The reason for that is that France's gaming regulations are quite tricky and the WPT was not able to get everything in order in time. According to the World Poker Tour, they plan to make the proper arrangements in order to be back in Paris for the 2008 Grand Prix de Paris. Papua New Guinea, a nation consisting of a small group of islands in the South Pacific, just passed a law making it legal to build brick-and-mortar poker rooms. The 20 provinces that make up the country will now be able to apply for a 10-year gaming license that will allow poker. The Prime Minister has said that he hopes that poker in Papua New Guinea will help to bolster tourism and employment, which will in turn strengthen the economy. Thank you for watching Card Players Daily Deal for your daily dose of poker news. I'm Lizzie Harrison. And I'm Sean Green for Card Player TV.